Alpha is the Omega. He is the beginning, he is the end, he is the rock of ages. He is the God that never changed. He is the God that never disappointed. He is the Almighty and the everlasting Father. Let's worship this our Maker.
Hallow be to your name, my maker. Be that glorified, be that magnified. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are going to pray. You are going to say, God of good news. I receive strength for my good news in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Maker, God of good news, I receive strength for my good news in the name of Jesus. I receive strength, strength for my good news in the name of Jesus. I receive strength for my good news in the name of Jesus. That strength that when good news comes, yeah, it can, I cannot carry that good news. Let it, be, let it fall upon my life. Let it fall upon my life. Let it fall upon my life. That strength that needed for that good news to manifest. I receive it in today's Saturday prayer meeting. I receive it in today's Saturday prayer meeting. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. That strength that will help me to that, that will make me to pursue that good news and it will come into manifestation. I receive it today in the name of Jesus. Let it fall upon my life. Let it fall upon my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name for you are so powerful. Be thou glorified. Be thou magnified. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I pray for you. That the God of good news will give you that strength that needed <laughs> for that good news to manifest in your life. That strength that needed for that good news to come out. That strength that needed that when good news comes, <laughs> you will balance with that strength. Let it rest upon your life right now. I had a count of three. Power! Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power! Yes, Lord. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Strength for good news. Strength for good news. Strength for good news. Strength for good news. Let it fall upon your life. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 In the book of Psalm 91, verse 6a. Psalm 91, verse 6a. Bible says, No, of the person that walks in darkness, we are going to pray. Father, deliver me from noisome, from noisome pestilence in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, deliver me from noisome pestilence in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Maker, in the mighty name of Jesus, deliver me from noisome pestilence in the name of Jesus. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, O God. In the name of Jesus, deliver me, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver me, my Maker. In the powerful name of Jesus, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. In thy name that is above every other name. In thy name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In thy name that is above every other name, Lord. In thy name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, my Maker. Be thy glorified, be thy magnified. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Excellent Jehovah, we thank you. Marvelous God, we celebrate your faithfulness. Adonai in heaven, we give you thanks, we give you praise. You are greater than the greatest, you are mightier than the mightiest. You are the God of all flesh, you are the God that never changes. 
You are the God that never disappointed. Father, in today's Sunday prayer meeting, throw your weight around in the name of Jesus. Move like never before in the name of Jesus. And your name alone be highly lifted up. Thank you, Father in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. If you are, if there is somebody by your side watching me, just give that your friend high five and say, tell the person that he or she is welcome to Saturday prayer meeting. Give your neighbor high five in the name of Jesus. Give your neighbor high five. Tell him or her, you are welcome to Saturday prayer meeting. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. You are all welcome to Saturday prayer meeting in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't forget that our yearly fasting starts we normally fast May, June, and July. Amen. And is for four days every month. I will already explain why we are to fast at this time. So we, uh, we do it every year. It's not new. Amen. I pray that God will give all of us strength to carry out this fasting in the mighty name of Jesus. And in this God's ministry, I keep on telling you that when it comes to fast, we don't normally do it. It's a month that everybody will fast six to six. You know your capacity. You can fast six to nine and break it. You can fast six to twelve and break it. You can fast six to one, six to two, six to three, six to four, six to five, six to six. It depends on your capacity. But as a Christian watching me, if you learn further that you are always fasting six to nine, six to nine, then you need to shift. Amen. You need to grow. Then you cannot continue to be fasting six to nine every year, every month. You are not helping yourself. Amen. So which means that you are not growing. Amen. So you need to grow. You need to grow. How would you know you are growing? From six to nine, you now shift it to six. Just be extending it. Before you know what is going on, you will balance, uh, you will continue to fast. Fasting is good. Amen. Not only that you, as you fast, you, uh, you, you, you just use the opportunity to exercise spiritual exercise. You just, you, you just fast for spiritual exercise. Not only that. It helps you as well to go both spiritually and physically. I pray for you that you continue to fast and you continue to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. And when it comes to fasting, don't forget that you don't need to fast like a hypocrite. What do I mean by hypocrite? Like Pharisees. The Pharisees that when they are fasting, even their face, their attitude will show that they are fasting. Please, don't forget that it's not our attitude as a Christian. Amen. And if you are this type that you are fasting, don't tell your neighbor, don't allow your left hand to know what your right hand is doing. You can fast and nobody knows you are fasting. Amen. And if you are this type that when you want to fast, you don't want to say, I will start fasting tomorrow because of one problem or the other. Continue to pray and continue to, when you want to fast, say it loud, pray that you want to start fasting tomorrow. As time goes on, any place, if there is any leakage that is causing you, making you to have problem or making you to even eat, if you are fasting, you just forget that you are fasting, you eat. Or one problem or the other will just arise like this. That hole, we are going to deal with that hole this afternoon. Because that hole needs to be sealed. Amen. I mean, the hole needs to be sealed. It, because that hole is open. If that hole is not open, as a Christian, when you want to fast tomorrow, you begin on time to pray concerning that your fasting. Begin to commit it unto the high, mighty hand of God concerning that fasting. And when that fasting comes, as a fast, you begin to speak, command your mouth and begin to speak to your stomach. You will see that when you fast, you will not be hungry. You will even see that fasting, you will just begin to enjoy the divine presence of God when you are fasting. And when you are fasting, make sure you fast with scriptures. Amen. Make sure that you worship God. Amen. Make sure that you have time and sing praises as well. It helps you, it produces, because there is what prayers cannot do, but worship will do it. There are things that praise, 
that prayer cannot do, fasting cannot even do it. But during that your time of fasting and prayer, you will deploy praises. You will see speedy and quick answer. I pray for you. The strength to do this fasting without mistake. Let it fall upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. It starts on the start this month, 29th of this month, and 1st June. Amen. Four days. Amen. Before that time, I will give you scriptures in which you are going to use for fast. And don't forget that the fasting, you are not fasting for this ministry. You are fasting for yourself. Amen. You are not fasting for this ministry. You are fasting for yourself. That fasting period is the time you need to take over. You need to dominate. Amen. You need to take charge wherever you are. Amen. So the fasting is for your own good, not for the ministry. It's not for the good of God's ministry. Amen. And don't forget, as I keep on announcing, that this God's ministry wants to take a better and better, a better and best shape so far. In a few months, it's no longer far. It will take charge. For those of you in Hanover, you are all welcome. Uh, you, you are all welcome to join us live. This one is no longer online. So, so for those that cannot even make it, no problems by God's grace, it will be live on YouTube. So you can watch it live on YouTube when we be ministering on that day. Amen. No more sitting methods. I'm always excited that the ministry is taking a better shape in a few months because I'm even tired of sitting and ministering. Amen. But you know, I used to tell all of you that carry oil, that there is nothing this oil cannot even do to you. There is nothing. So if somebody that knows me very well from Nigeria, they just come across my video on YouTube. <laughs> they are busy laughing. They are asking me if I'm even well. Me, that don't even sit down. I don't say, hmm. That is where God lead me. So I'm using sitting method this time around. So it's just like, that as time goes on, when they started to watch it every Sunday that I upload it, they now, they now understand my language. So <laughs> I understand them because I'm not good at sitting because I used to tell that I am a lioness. So what do you expect lioness to do? If lion, lioness is sitting, then which means that something is wrong. Amen. And we are all lioness. Once you are a believer, you are a lioness in the mighty name of Jesus. So if by adventure you are a believer, you are a born again. And the spirit of God in your life is not even going to the fact that you need to be you to reach this level of lioness. I pray for you this afternoon. I release anointing that will make you to enter that level of lioness, both spiritually and physically. In that might for those of you that are always are that always prepared to join this Sunday prayer meeting, as I'm releasing this anointing right now, you will begin to see yourself that even in the dream you just take charge because you are a lioness. Even physically, the boldness in you will come alive. It will jump back to life. In the mighty name of Jesus, take it, yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, yes, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, yes, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, blessed be to your holy name, my Father. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. And don't forget that Saturday prayer meeting is a uniform meeting, even me, ministering. I am to join the program with black down and white up. Amen. But I keep on saying that because of, you know, here is not Africa, it's not Nigeria. So you need to carry everybody along. There are some people that when somebody died in their side, do have some within some months, which is even like that in Nigeria. So we are black, <laughs> so we are white. Amen. So at that moment, they'll just so if you have people that as the program is to start fully. In few months time, if they are wearing black or white, don't worry. Tell them to come and join us with the program. So they will not say because of the uniform, they will not join until they remove that they are white or they are black. Amen. Let's just carry everybody along. Amen. As you do so, I see the God that called and in America, giving you extraordinary testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to carry everybody along. We want even there are some that even called me and said that they don't have a... They, are, they have been searching for <laughs> white top. They didn't see. <laughs> they, they, they didn't see white top. <laughs> are they allowed to come with a with a white 
white gown, <laughs> white trousers, <laughs> and white <laughs> no white gown. They said white gown <laughs> until they, they get white top. <laughs> and I say, okay, no problems. You can join us with that white <laughs> that your white gown. <laughs> so as you are joining us with the white gown, don't relax. Continue to look for white. There is plain white. I don't know. I am shocked when somebody said that here. Yeah, she didn't see white, but there is white in the shop. It's just that the truth is that it is that it is expensive. Yeah, you can wait for when they have sales. Amen. My prayer is that uh, God will help us. So as you are joining us with a white gown, may, remember that our dressing code is just black down and the white up. So don't relax without your white. Make sure that you keep on searching for white on top so that you will not be different. Amen. And for the children, no children is to come with white trouser. They are to come with black trouser. And top, the top will be white, whatever thing they draw there, don't worry, let them just join us, amen. Let them join us. Before, I was saying the children should just come with a blue trouser or but I have already observed that there is even black trousers for children as well in the market. So because of that, so even if that is jogging hose, black, I mean jogging, joggers, black, they can wear it, it doesn't matter, and wear the any top on top. And come and join us and worship God. Amen. Because it's a season of celebration. Amen. The theme of this month in this God's ministry is our month of increase my faith. It's taken from the book of Luke chapter 17 verse 5. Luke chapter 17 verse 5. Bible says, and the apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. I don't know if you have been to the extent that your faith needed to be increased. And you then begin to throw, throw, it, throw it as a prayer point. Father, assist me, increase my faith. Father, I need my faith to be increased. I pray for you. As you are praying that God will increase your faith, he will increase it in the mighty name of Jesus. There are many things that can help you to for your faith to be increased. When you form the habit of spending time with believers like you, it will help you. When you find the time reading scriptures, study your Bible, getting information, listening to the preachers, preachers of the Word of God, it as well it helps you listen to people's testimonies. It helps you to increase your faith. I pray for you this afternoon that the God of all flesh will assist you. He will help you. Your faith will begin to increase like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 2. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 2. Bible says that. And you shall remember the Lord your God. Lead you all the way these 40 days. In the wilderness to humble you and test you to know what was in your heart whether you would keep his commandment or not in this area as a christian there is a wilderness experience as a born again there is a wilderness experience as a believer there is a wilderness experience this experience if you, are, you have accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and your Savior, you have not even entered this experience. Don't worry. Wait for it is coming. You will experience it. And you will pass it and move to another level. It's not bad. That is what everybody is seeing. And this wilderness experience is something that you need to understand. It's an experience that God wants to test you. There are some people that they accepted Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior because of particular something they are demanding from God. <laughs> they will just accept because they need that thing. Don't forget that this God you are accepting is a spirit. He even, when you are even, before you even started to take decision, God knows. When you now finally want to feel that you want to mock God, God will just be looking at you. So I want to advise. If you want to follow this ladder, continue to follow this ladder. Don't follow this ladder because of particularly you need this thing. 
and once that thing enters your hand, your palm, you will just drop. No more, no more praying again. No more fasting again. In fact, you just be sleeping like, like, like a baby. When you are passing through this wilderness experience, continue to hold on to God. 100% is not bad, but victory is sure. I pray for you, hearing my voice. Maybe that's your case. It's just a wilderness experience. But God said that during this time of, during this time, 40 years in the wilderness, this way like they are there, just 40 years in the wilderness. God was watching them. How the humble they are. God was testing them. God wants to know if they will keep his commandment or not. So, so which means that whatever thing you are doing today, that God is watching you. He's testing you. To know if you'll be humble, to know if you can even follow him and keep his commandment or not. I pray for you. As he's testing you, you will pass the exam in the mighty name of Jesus. I said you will pass the exam in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. Bible said that. But you are a chosen generation. Is God talking to us via his word. That we are a choosing generation. Now talk to yourself that I am a choosing generation. In the mighty name. Now say it one more time. I am a choosing generation. Now speak to yourself that I am a royal priesthood. Bible is talking to us. That we are a choosing generation. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. His own special people. So we are special people. We are God's special people. We are God's special people. That we may proclaim the presence of him who called us, who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now I'm beginning to pray. Father, thank you, Father, for calling me out of darkness into your marvelous light. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Maker, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the God that never changed, the God that never disappointed. Father, I thank you, Father, for, for calling me, for calling me out of darkness into your marvelous light. Thank you, Father, for calling me out of darkness into your marvelous light. Into your marvelous light. Into your marvelous light. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. In thy name that is above every other name, Lord. In thy name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, my Maker. Be thou glorified. Be thou magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In the book of Amos chapter 9 verse 3, Amos chapter 9 verse 3, Bible said, And though they hide themselves on top of camel, from there I will search and take them. Though they hide from my sight at the bottom of the sea, from there I will command the serpent, and he shall bite them. Hmm. We are going to pray. You know, this month, we are starting prayer. <laughs> we are going to pray. We are going to say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, send dragon to swallow all my enemies in this month of May. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Maker, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, send dragon, send dragon to swallow all my enemies in this month of May. Send dragons, spiritually, physically. Let this dragon swallow all of them. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, send dragon in the name of Jesus. My Father, send dragon in the name of Jesus. Let dragon swallow all my enemies. In this month of May, let dragon swallow all my enemies. Both spiritually and physically in the name of Jesus. Both spiritually and physically in the name of Jesus. Both spiritually and physically in the name of Jesus. Both spiritually and physically in the name of Jesus. Both spiritually and physically in the name of Jesus. Both spiritually and physically in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I pray for you this afternoon by the power of the Holy Ghost. The God that called me will send dragon. And this dragon will swallow all your enemies in this month of May in the mighty name of Jesus. Dragon will swallow all your enemies in this month of May in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 20 verse 7. Genesis chapter 20 verse 7. Bible says, Now therefore, restore the man's wife, for he is a prophet, and he will pray for you. And you shall live. But if you do not restore her, know that you shall surely die. You and all who are yours. Amen. We are going to pray. I don't want to go into the I don't want to go into the details. It's concerning uh, Abraham and uh, Abimelech. Amen. So I don't want to go into the details. So if you want to if you like story like me, so you, after the program, just read the uh, Genesis, just for you to understand the story very well, start from Genesis chapter 19 and read down to chapter 20. You will just understand. But we are going to pray from this particular Bible passage. We are going to say, Father, in the mighty name of anyone that is taking what is yours, what is anything that belongs to you, you are going to declare. And decree they are all dead in the mighty name. So anyone that is taking your belongings, you are going to speak, you are going to command them that they are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and fire prayer. My father, my maker, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that is taking what is mine, spiritually, physically, I command all of them to die in the name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my Maker. In thy name that is above every other name, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that is taking what is yours, anyone that is taking my belongings, anyone that is taking what belongs to me, both spiritually and physically, I command them, they are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. I command all of them to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Die both spiritually and physically. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other next Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, my Maker. Be thy glorified, be thy magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I pray for you. By the force of grace. Anyone that is taking what is yours. I declare upon their lives. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. I command them. 
They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. Whether they are taking it spiritually, whether they are taking it physically, let that be their portion this hour. Let that be their portion this hour. In the mighty name of Jesus. As I have declared, so shall it be in their lives. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. <laughs> we are going to pray. In the book of Matthew chapter 2, verse 20. Matthew chapter 2, verse 20. Bible says, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who saw the young child's life are dead. Hey, I don't know if you'll be happy when God gives you this type of message, when you are running from your enemies, and God will not speak to you. Say, go back. You will see that all your enemies are dead. Hey, hey. we are going to pray. This is the month of May. <coughs> we are going to pray. You are going to say, Father, in the mighty name of all oh, that are seeking for my life to destroy. Hey, hey. I declare upon them, upon them <laughs> that they are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me repeat it. Pray again. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, all oh, that are seeking for my life to destroy, I declare upon them that they are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and fire prayer. My Father, my Maker, in the mighty name of Jesus, those that are seeking my, for my life to destroy, those that are seeking for my life to destroy, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree upon them, they are all dead in the name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. Die 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare upon them. They are all dead in the name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. In the marvelous name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. In thy name that is above every other name, Lord. In thy name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, my Maker. Be thy glorified, be thy magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I pray for you. Anyone that is seeking for your life to... They are seeking to destroy your life. Whether they want to destroy it spiritually... Oh, they want to destroy it physically. <laughs> I declare upon them. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all dead in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, as I'm declaring this word now, I hear it clear. The Lord said that I should address whatever thing that is attracting them within you. That is surrounding you, attracting them, <laughs> making them to pursue you, making them to seek for your life to destroy. I am going, we are going to address it now by the power in the Holy Ghost. Anything inside you that is attracting them, that is not good, 
Making them to destroy, punish your image, both spiritually and physically. Making them to seek after your life to destroy you, both spiritually and physically. I command that thing to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. I command that thing to be out from you in the name of Jesus. I command them to be out from you in the name of Jesus. I deploy the Holy Ghost fire in your system right now. I deploy the Holy Ghost fire in your system right now. Whatever thing that my Heavenly Father did not put in your life, I command them to catch fire right now in the name of Jesus. I command them to catch fire right now in the name of Jesus. I command them to catch fire right now in the name of Jesus. I command them to jump out of you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Power! Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 32. Matthew chapter 6 verse 32. Bible said, for after all these things, the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knows that you need all these things. We are going to pray. You are going to say, Father, in thy name that is above every other name. Give me super abundant prosperity. Super abundant prosperity. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Maker, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, O oh God of all flesh, that you are going to give me super abundant prosperity. I pray for super abundant prosperity upon my life. Super abundant prosperity in the name of Jesus. Super abundant prosperity in the name of Jesus. I pray for it in the Father, give it to me in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Maker, give it to me in the name of Jesus. Give it to me in the name of Jesus. Give it to me in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. In the name that is above. Every other name, Lord, in the powerful name of Jesus, in the glorious name of Jesus. Great are you, Lord, greatly to be praised. Yeah. 
have to know by the power and the Holy Ghost. The God of all flesh will give you super abundant prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. He will give you super abundant prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. If I have ventured, there is anything in your life that is dead. This session is the session that we want to join healing, unquenchable fire, everything together. If I venture, there is anything in your life that is dead. Today is the third Saturday in this month of May. That power that raised Jesus from the death. <laughs> That power that raised Jesus from the death, <laughs> that power is still alive. <laughs> that power is still working till today. <laughs> that power is what I am deploying in that your sickness. <laughs> is it a hereditary sickness? <laughs> that power is what I am deploying right now. <laughs> because when that power is being deployed into that location, into that situation, I see you coming back, returning back to this ministry with your testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because when this power is being deployed, <laughs> something strange and great normally happens. <laughs> when this power is being deployed, <laughs> every sick in the house will receive their healing. <laughs> when this power is being deployed, <laughs> it doesn't matter how, how your family has been suffering from that hereditary. The God of an neck I will just use scissors and cut that chain. <laughs> You shall see that symptoms no more. In the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter. Let me pray nature there is something that is dead in your life. <laughs> and you are joining this Sunday prayer meeting every Saturday. And it's something is happening, but it's not the way you are you want it as a person. Hey, as I'm to deploy this or this this code right now, something strange will begin to happen. <laughs> something Something strange will begin to happen. Not only that you will feel it physically, something will as well happen spiritually. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power! Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power! Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. Power! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. In the glorious name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Open table fire session. For those of you that you want the fire in your life to continue to burn. The fire of God in your altar. You want it to continue. <laughs> hey, receive it right now. This is the session we call the quenchable fire. Take it! Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take it! Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Jesus, Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, take it, yes Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the powerful name of Jesus, yes Lord, in the powerful name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we move Chukunami Giba Kaka Amigonwe Ginaya Na Chieze Power! Yes, Lord! In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Asimilo Riyo Lomeni Polo Adomuno Noma Tundu Gola In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, take it. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power! In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see me broken one. 